Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to cartoon yourself. So we're going to start off with a photo of ourselves. Um, please make sure you have that saved onto your desktop. Okay, have that photo ready. And we will create what, um, what is on the left here, which is a cartoon version of yourself. Um, you know, if you take a look, it's not exact but this cartoon version of yourself should resemble you, right? So if you follow all the main lines, you should be able to get this exact effect. So please follow along. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna open up Illustrator. Um, if any of your windows are missing, or not windows, but any of your bars over here, toolbars on the left, right, just go on window and make sure that um, application bar is checked, your layers is checked, things that you're gonna have to work with. Okay, so um, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to use some shortcuts to make things easier so you can um, learn about them as well. So Command N, hold down Command, press N. It will open a new document window. Please put your class number here. Okay, and I'm gonna call it Northcott because I'm gonna be using photo of Mr. Northcott. Okay, size A4. You want to have it portrait portrait uh, orientation, okay? And then just press OK. So there is our A4 paper that we're starting off with. Now I'm going to take a different approach than what we did in the ice cream with the template layer because um, people were having some problems um, using the blob brush tool because their photo was really small and it made it very hard to use the blob brush tool. So after some searching, I did find a little trick to eliminate this problem. So please follow along because you will have to do this and this will make it easier for you. So please follow closely. Now I'm gonna go to file and place. Okay, I've got my pictures of Mr. Northcott ready. Um, now I'm gonna click on the picture I want to use and I've always been <laughs> telling you guys, I'm like, click, template, make sure it's checked. Okay, I'm gonna take that back. Don't check it, okay? The only thing that should be checked is link. That's the only thing you want checked, okay? And then press place. Now, this is gonna open it up and notice it's not a template layer because it's not dimmed, right? This is how we know. If it looks like that clear, bright photo, we know it's not a template layer. So. Now, Mr. Northcott is a little tiny on this, and probably for some of you, you're even smaller, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, the size of the photo and everything. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold down shift, keep it held down, and actually make sure I'm on the selection tool. Okay, so I've got selection right up here. And I'm holding down the shift key, and I'm literally just stretching that out. Okay, and then releasing, and then now with that selection tool, I'm just going to move Mr. Northcott over here, a little lower, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Hold down shift key and just stretch him out. Now, if you don't hold down shift, you're gonna stretch the image and that's gonna look absolutely terrible. So please make sure you hold down the shift before you drag a corner out and increase the size. Okay, now that this is the size that I'm happy with, I'm just gonna center it a little bit. Okay, now that I'm happy with the size, I am going to go over to the layers uh, window right here. I'm gonna double click on layer one. Layer options pop up. I'm going to rename it template. And now what I'm gonna do is check the template box here. Okay, so this allows us, this method, like the steps that we just did, allow us to resize the photo before we make it a template because you can't resize it once it's a template. This is the problem that we were facing. So click on template, press, and dim images to 50%. This will be the default, so just leave it at that and then press OK. Okay, boom, now we've got our template ready. Now we can start using the blob brush tool. So click here to create a new layer. And now I've got my layer two, which I shall rename to outline so I don't get mixed up with my layers. Okay, so now that is my outline layer. I'm gonna go over to the blob brush tool, double click that, and 
I'm going to make sure the size is one point and that my pressure, I think I'll make it two point, two point okay? Um, I have a circle brush shape and uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty good to go. Okay, I have a circle I'm working with and size one point, pressure two point. Let's try it out. Press OK. Now I'm ready to use this. Um, actually, just kidding. Not yet. I have to check my colors. So over here I'm going to um, double click fill. Make sure it's set to black. OK. And then over here for stroke, I'm going to make sure it's none. OK. And then I'm going to press Command Plus to zoom in. What I'm going to do now is show you how to do the face because I felt like... Um, the face seems to be the most challenging part for people, okay? So if you don't have um, background cartooning faces, drawing faces, this is going to be a very tricky step. So, um, you know, just do your very best, and I'm going to model this. Maybe you could follow along. Um, but really what you want to do is you want to make sure that the eyes are clear, right, the shape of the eyes. You definitely want to show a nose, okay? Um, you want to draw any or trace over any lines that are very apparent, okay? Um, so these smile lines here on the side are definitely important for Mr. Northcott's very serious expression. Okay, and then also the mouth. I'm going to show you how to do the teeth because the teeth have been hard for a lot of people as well. So, I'm, so the face is what I'm going to show you how to do and the rest of it you're going to do on your own. So with the blob brush tool... I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to start with the eyes. I always like starting with the eyes. And I'm doing this with my trackpad. Okay. I do not own a, uh, a tablet at home. So I am doing all this with the trackpad. Now, Mr. Northcott has a, a fold there that I want to show. Okay. I'm also going to uh, do that to the other side. I'm doing all this on a trackpad. So those of you that need to do this at home, it is possible to do on a trackpad. It's not uh, as easy, I would say, but it certainly is possible. Um, so if you have to do this at home, you can do it at home, just on your laptop. Okay, and I might draw, because his eyes are a little, Squinty like that because he's smiling so big. Okay, so I've done the eyes. This is all you have to do. It's the main lines. Okay, and then now I'm going to outline his eyebrows. He's got some crazy eyebrows. And of course, because this is a cartoon self you're doing, um, things might be slightly exaggerated. Okay, a little bit. Um, like, I might make his eyebrows thinner if I was doing a more realistic drawing, but I'm making it look a little silly. I'm going to do, I am going to use my eraser tool. I think this, this angle should be smoother. Back to blob brush. And just rounding that out. Okay, fabulous. I'm happy with that. Okay, so now let's do the nose. Okay, and you want to do the nostrils. Now, I know all of you have different facial expressions, so, um, you know, it's not going to be the exact same angle. Something I do want to show. I do want to show some of that shadow, because that's an important shadow in his face. Okay, now I'm going to do the smile lines. This is working out pretty well. I mean, it's working out better than I thought with a trackpad, so perhaps the trackpad's going to work out. Okay, now mouth. Please watch. Um, first, I'm gonna, just going to do the inner line. Please don't forget to do people's lips, right? I shouldn't even say people. Your lips. Don't forget your lips. Okay? You're, like, your lips are not a line. They're actually... A shape. <laughs> so I'm 
I'm like focusing so hard on this track that I can't even talk. <laughs> um, okay. Getting the inner lip line over here. It's a little bit thinner. Wow, you know, you are going to learn some new things about your face as you trace over it, that's for sure. These are things I've never no noticed about Mr. Northcott's face. Um, okay, now, to do the teeth, you just want to kind of outline where the white is, okay? Mr. Northcott has a pretty cool gap. I kind of want to show that because I think that's like a fun trademark of his face. Okay. Great. Okay, boom, teeth done. And now what I'm gonna do is actually exaggerate the tongue. You can see a little bit of a tongue shadow in there. I'm just gonna kind of exaggerate that a little bit. Okay, and then I see a little bit of teeth on the bottom. It's, I know it's hard to see, but, um, I'm just trying to show all that. Wow, it really looks like him. Anytime you want to check how your drawing is going, okay, just go command minus, zoom out, and literally you can just check that. See how it's looking. Hide that template layer and take a look, okay? It really does look like him. It's pretty cool. So um, this is what I'm going to show you for now. I'm going to pause this video and... Um, just continue going and trace out all the outlines. I, I have gotten questions about people asking about wrinkles, um, wrinkles on the shirt. Please do some wrinkles. Like here, I'm going to show you. So Mr. Northcott had his sleeves rolled up, and it is hard to actually see these wrinkles because it's a striped sweater. But do show some of that because that is like the characteristics of your clothes. And if you can show that, it looks really cool. It's like a nice addition. You don't have to do all the wrinkles. Here I can see a big, a big clothes wrinkle where his arm is bending. Okay, but do try to show some of those clothes wrinkles. I think it will make it look a lot better. So that's it for now, and I will continue the tutorial um, when we start coloring. Okay, goodbye.